Hey, you know, some of you may remember me uh, on Channel 4 in the mid-90s, that is if you're old enough to remember, but that's not that long ago, hosting a segment on Channel 4 Live every Sunday morning called What's It Worth with me, Wilson Curry. Well, what we recently discovered and realized that we had were suitcases full of mail from people sending in photos like these asking what their treasured family heirlooms or collections may be worth. What we're going to do now is we're going to open up all these cards and letters, and there's a lot of them. And we're going to share them with you on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page, Wilson's Antiques and Curiosities. So welcome to Fan Mail Monday. And I have a letter here from Mike from Buffalo, New York. And let's see what Mike has to say. It's always interesting. Dear Wilson, in close, please find photographs of a pipe that I brought from Germany in 1945 when I returned home from the Army. Thank you for your service, Mike. I have no idea how old it is other than the years that I've had it. It's in excellent condition, but still not in mint condition, for it was used and has a small chip at the end of the mouthpiece. He signs sincerely, Mike. Well, Mike, let's see what you have here. All right, what he has, well, what you have is uh, one of those long-stemmed German pipes, hence you were in Germany, uh, with a uh, long stem on it. It shows it separated and shows it in your hand. And let me look at the part that really is the pipe, and I'll tell you what I think. Yours has a, uh, a briar, it has a briar bowl, and this lower piece is briar, and the rest of it's either bone or some other material or similar to it. Now... Interestingly, pipes are a collectible item on their own, and uh, their values are all over the place, but the one you show, uh, number one, is probably a pipe that would be in the range of uh, $50 to $75. Uh, we, we happen to have some similar pipes, including one like this that uh, has a uh, porcelain ball, and it's hand-painted with a stag on it with mountains behind, and uh, this is also briar here, but it's some type of... Uh, uh, birch or some other type of wood stem and hence you'd load it with tobacco right there and uh, smoke away and this is probably about the same age or actually a little bit older than the one you showed but once again these are collectible I'll fill you in here's one that's uh, quite uh, extensive once again this has a porcelain bowl instead of a wooden one it has a stag in the forest painted then it must have been a popular theme but this one you can get a nice long draw on that same thing it has a little lid that covers the bowl and snaps down over the top and as they say that's porcelain and uh this is a a big pipe but i also have one don't have the stem i think the stem's out in the case out there but this one is meerschaum and meerschaum is that soft stone type material that they made tons of pipes out of and you see this one is carved and this one has uh well, the popular theme of a deer in the forest, a little cottage on the back, and a, a German steel lid on it, and so on. And you'll see in Meerschaum, as you smoked it, it, it darkened. And that was the intent of Meerschaum pipes. They started out white, but as you smoked them, they turned down a real nice mellow brown. So pipes and pipe collecting, uh, that's not a bad category. I would value your pipe at probably uh, between $40 and $60. And some of these that I showed here might be a little bit more. This one might be up near $100 and so on. But uh, most of them came from Germany. And what they were is they were really popular in the tourist trade as well. And gentlemen like yourself who served overseas and whatnot brought these things home, as you say, from Germany. And as we all know, the Germans really know how to make good stuff. We appreciate you sending your photos to us and look forward to some more in the future.